hasn't been a day that I have not thought about Monique's murder. How cruelly she was treated, how terrified she must have been. A mother sharing her pain and heartbreak nearly two years after her daughter, Monique Bao, was kidnapped and murdered. Well, today, one of the co-conspirators received a life sentence without parole. Hi, everyone. I'm Amy Hockert. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. Our Paul Bloom has followed this case from the very beginning and joins us live right now. So, Paul, today the woman who authorities say made the phone calls that lured Bao to her death learned her fate. She did indeed, Kelsey, and like her two co-conspirators before her who were already convicted and sentenced. Now Elsa Segura goes away for life behind bars without the possibility of parole. I have to live the rest of my life without my daughter. Once again, Wanda Williams Bow returned to a Hennepin County courtroom seeking justice for the torturous slang of her daughter Monique nearly two years ago. This time asking Judge Peter Cahill to send Elsa Segura to prison for the rest of her life without the possibility of parole. It was Segura who made the phone calls luring Bao, a local real estate agent, to a fake home showing where she would eventually be kidnapped and killed by a pair of co-conspirators. Those phone calls put my daughter right where Cedric Berry and Barry Davis wanted her. And they got her and they tortured her and they killed her and they left her. left her babies without a mother. Segura, a former Hennepin County probation officer and 35W bridge collapse survivor, chose not to address the court. As stated in the PSI, Ms. Segura apologizes to Monique Bao's family for making the phone calls that led to this absolute tragedy. The 29-year-old's attorney has argued Segura was in an abusive relationship, a reluctant participant coerced into a scheme involving a bitter feud with Bao's boyfriend, that would end with him shot and Bao dead. Judge Cahill concluding that even though Segura did not pull the trigger, the law states she is just as guilty as the others of first degree murder, warranting a life sentence. She could have been a hero. I meant that. She could have been. She could have very easily, just the call that she made to set up that fake showing, she could have made a text or phone call and said, don't go. Could have saved my daughter's life. And Wanda Williams bow there went on to lament the fact that Elsa Segura truly squandered her second chance at life. As I mentioned in my report there, Segura was on the 35W bridge when it collapsed 14 years ago. Now she'll go away and spend uh, the rest of her life behind bars. In the meantime, her boyfriend at the time, as well as one other woman, still have their cases in this deadly, murderous kidnapping plot working their way through the court system. We're live in downtown Minneapolis. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.